In this video, I'm going to go over um, the springboard. Okay, so basically the the yen was going down, as you, and I'll go over it in the bar chart as well, but bar wave chart, whatever. But right now, I want to go over it on the on the PNF chart. All right, now take a look at this formation. You have a rally. And it's a strong rally. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars. Straight up. And what's really nice about this rally is its pullback. And watch how I put the put it all together. So you have this rally, which is a breakout or rally, whatever you want to call it. And then you have a fairly long base. You you imagine a base being attached to a rally okay almost like a barrel to a gun all right like a long barrel to a gun like a shotgun barrel long one and that's what it looks like so Wyckoff called this the springboard looks like a shotgun <laughs> look at it looks just like a shotgun remember it has a big base attached to a rally all right, this is very important. Why? Because the potential, the concept of the potential in a point figure came from, as he described it, ballistics. Where he said that in the science of ballistics, the longer the barrel, the bigger the move. Because the longer the barrel, the, the more amount of time, like the gases build up in the barrel and then shoot out the projectile. And the so the longer the barrel, the bigger the the higher the projectile or the further it goes, and that's what he likened the base to. So this springboard here, you have a rally and you have a fairly long base. The other thing is, it should be narrow, sh you know, or it should be coming to like a triangle type formation where it's getting narrow. All right, this is already very narrow. So what you have here uh, is like a rally and a narrow base, but it's a long base. And um, it really tightens, meaning it hinges here. The other thing you want to do is look at the volume in that little base. And you're going to see it has a very classic pattern where the rally has a lot of volume. And the base within that rally or the consolidation after that rally starts the volume starts going down and you can see over here these three bars are indicative of that okay so it's a rally and then there's a a long base in a bar chart imagine like three bars up that are big long thrusting bars and then like a abc or you know that protracted um um, consolidation but a long one with a lot of bars a lot of bars and a pullback but that doesn't really break the low of the rally it kind of um, just looks like it's a long consolidation attached to a strong rally so this is a, the rally or a breakout and you have a long barrel with uh, low volume on the pullback and that creates the springboard formation so you see it very clearly they have breakout long barrel hinging coming to a dead center low volume on that on the barrel or the pullback and then you have a breakout so that's how it looks on a point figure chart let's see the similar indications on a bar chart so I'm gonna bring the bar chart up you can see that it has a strong rally here in 27,000. Strong rally up and then it pulls back. Now what are the key features? Is that it consolidates, 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 consolidates. See that? Down, down, down. So it consolidates for a long period of time. It has higher lows, right? From here to here to here to here. It has higher lows, and on the last two, like over here, you have high volume up, 
Now, I'm looking for low volume pullbacks after the high volume up. So I know that this looks like a low volume retest, but that's just, I mean, you just have to know how to read volume. You're looking for a high volume, then it has low volume pullback and another low volume pullback. So you can see this very apparent on the wave volume over here, where the down volumes are going from this to this to this to this. You see them decreasing. You see that? The selling pressure decreasing from here to here to here to here. It's not increasing, it's decreasing. So it has a very classic type of feel where the volume is decreasing on the pullbacks. Higher lows, decreasing volume, rally in the background, and a prolonged um, consolidation. Not a simple consolidation, which is your typical one pullback or two pullback correction that um, ABC type but this is like multiple you know and then what happens is it finally comes to a dead center it comes to I don't want to call it triangle because if you just mark triangles they're gonna fail okay triangles just like looking for triangles it's not gonna work get into the pattern trap <sighs> what's important is there's a rally in the background there's a prolonged consolidation with higher lows with lessening volume coming to a dead center and then breaking out all of that together especially given that this is at a low after multiple waves down because if it's at a high like smart money doesn't buy highs right so they buy like like right there at a low so that's what makes it all like come together and um, so this is a study of the springboard and how it looks and what are its characteristics again rally should be strong higher lows lessening volume and an extended consolidation hinging coming to a dead center then breaking out I know he called it a springboard but I like to call it a shotgun formation all right because like a shotgun it has a big barrel and a strong handle or whatever you want to call it but that that's that's the way it looks so that's a uh, that's just a quick tutorial and review of a springboard formation and its characteristics.